Hey everybody, my name is Morgan. Today I am here because I am getting ready for a Tough Mudder and I gotta keep my micro locks dry. So I went and purchased the You Go Natural Swim Cap Turban or Turban Swim Cap. I'm about to unbox it for the first time and I'm also gonna do a little shower test just to see if my hair actually stays dry since I don't have a pool. If that sounds good, just keep watching. All right y'all, this is the bag that it came in. It says here, YGN head wraps. Okay, so as y'all can see, this is what the inside is kind of like the silicone material. Let me turn it in. Oh, it does go inside out. Okay, so this is what the material looks like if I take it inside out. And this is what the outside looks like. So there's like a little loop connecting everything. You see, there's a little loop. So I'm assuming that's the front. This is stitched together. Now, before I try this on, I wanted to talk about a few things. This is not a sponsored video. I paid my own money for this product. The swim cap turban was about $48. Yeah, a little steep in my opinion, just my thoughts. But I saw so many good reviews on it and I was like, oh, I really don't wanna get my hair wet and messed up during this Tough Mudder that I said, it's worth it. It's worth a shot. So I'm gonna see. Another reason why I wanted to get this swim cap is because opposed to like your traditional swim caps, this is a lot more stylish. You know, I'm trying to walk around looking stylish and cute, you know, and the other swim caps, they just kind of look, I don't know, just make you kind of get that, look like that bald head look. And it's like, this is nice. I can see myself using this when I go swimming other places. Like if I'm on vacation, I can definitely multi-purpose this and still feel like I have a sense of fashion. And so that is, a big difference between this and the other swim caps I was looking at. They weren't very cute. Also, when I was doing my research, I saw that they were a black owned business, which I definitely like. Initially, this part, it feels really tight. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is really tight. In my opinion, I have a big head. Mind you guys, I have never done this before, so I don't know how this is gonna fit, but let's see. <clears throat> This is tight, y'all. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That is a snug fit. I didn't even get it all the way. Oh, it feels like, is it pushing on my head? Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit of a workout, but now that I got it on, it's not that bad. It is, ooh, it is very tight around the perimeter. I'm trying to be realistic about how I'm really gonna wear it because I just know I want to put the band over my ear, but it feels hot. <laughs> like, ooh, it feels hot, y'all. I'm trying to be realistic about it for me. It's because I'm doing a whole obstacle course. I'm not, I'm not trying to be hot, like have this hotness in my ear. Like I feel like it was just hot. Um, so I might have to let the ear be like this. That's for me, y'all. If, if you don't want no water seeping in, I definitely don't recommend you to do this because there's the slightest gap right here. But I have to be honest about what I'm getting this cap for. I can do a little, the slightest bit of wetness. It's not gonna bother me. But if I have a whole head full of mud, no. I can't do that. But I would recommend if you're going to swim with it and you don't want your hair wet at all, don't do not do this. Because anywhere where you allow a crack is where water can seep in. But I'm not, as you can see, I'm, <sighs> I gotta be real with myself. So this is how we're gonna tie it. So open it. One, that was one tie. Two, that's two ties. And then you're gonna take it. Oh, that's tight. And that's it, y'all. I'm gonna be real with y'all. This thing is so tight on my head right now. I don't know if I can bear this. Let me see if maybe I just tie it once 
if it ain't gonna feel like that because that almost gave me a headache so let's just do one time The one tie was a little better, um, but it's still really tight. I don't even know how that water would get right here because it's so tight around the edge. I don't even think the water would get in anymore. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me turn around. So I recommend if you feel like it's too tight, don't double tie it in the front. Just do one and then flip it. If that's bothering you, like this might even be too much. That If doing this one time is too tight, I would recommend not tying it, leaving it open and just like throwing it over your head, over the back. Honestly, I think this is what I might do because this feels a lot more comfortable than even tying it one time. It might not look as fashionable, but I still think it looks cute. A little tuck. And so that's what it looks like in the back when I do that. This level of tightness for me is okay. My receipt says that it stretches up to 24 inches. Obviously my head is big or the cap is small. <laughs> I think it's cause my head is big. But anyway, it is definitely tight which is the point. If you want your hair to be dry, it probably does really need to be tight like that. I think tying it definitely intensified the tightness. So if you're, if you get headaches, like how I get headaches and you just know too much pressure or tension, it's a no-no for you. Just do what I just did y'all. Cause it feels a lot better. Sometimes you just gotta get creative with stuff until you figure out what works for you, but this works for me. So now I'm about to go get in the shower just like this. I mean. You know, not with my shirt on, of course, but I'm gonna get in the shower. I'm gonna wash up, get ready for bed, and I'm gonna come back and show you guys what my hair looks like. See you guys in a sec. All right, y'all, the cap is really wet and I'm about to finish my shower and y'all can't watch that. So I'll see you in a sec, bye. <laughs> All right, y'all, I am back out the shower. Head is still wet and my face is dry. So if you see some ash, just let it go, please. Just, just let it go. Anyway, so let's see if my hair is dry underneath the cap. As you guys can see, it is still wet. Maybe you can't see, but let's see. Ooh. Let's take a look. Oh, my hair is dry. It's actually not wet at all. Like, I got a little line here because of how tight it was, but... See? I think this is a go, y'all. I think this is a go. I'm definitely hopeful that this Tough Mudder, I won't have to fully submerge my head in a tub of ice again. Cause I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. I just don't, I ain't like that. But anyway, um, <laughs> I think that this turban is gonna be good enough for the mud and the water that I may end up being in. All in all, it does what it's supposed to do. It kept my hair dry. But like I said, this was just the shower test. After I do the Tough Mudder, I definitely am gonna come back and you know let you guys see how that went and how my hair is looking after that. But as far as the shower test, it passed the shower test. My hair is not wet. So that is definitely good. So yeah, y'all, y'all pray for me. Let me know down in the comments, are you looking for a swim cap for any reason? If so, would you be trying the Yugo Natural Turban Swim Cap let me know down below what you guys think. I hope that this video was helpful for somebody out there. If you have it in your heart, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you guys can see how this journey ends up going after this Tough Mudder. I appreciate all the love and support. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.